Scope webs vs. Spider webs the tensile strength of dragline spider silk is almost equal to high grade steel. In terms of toughness, it is comparable to synthetic fibers like nylon. Therefore, it is not surprising that spider silk finds varied applications including creation of fishing webs and textiles. They've also been used as optic fibers and crosshairs for rifle scopes. Tougher than Kevlar, the silk created by the Darwin's bark spider found in Madagascar is 10 times tougher than Kevlar. Both spider webs and cobwebs webs are made by air-breathing arthropods we call spiders. The only difference lies in the fact that cobwebs webs primarily irregular in form are mostly made by the families of spiders known as Theridididae and Linifidae while what are referred to as spider webs are elaborately designed and built by families like Aranidae, Nephilidae, Tetragnathidae and others. Here's a succinct analysis of the difference between cobwebs webs and spider webs the protein fiber structures that serve as nests, means of transport and prey traps for these arthropods. All about cobwebs, webs the family the irregular tangled webs created by our eight legged friends are commonly known as cobwebs. webs. The origin of the word cobweb may be attributed to an old English word for spider which is cob. Cobwebs webs are made by the family known as the Theridididae, tangled web spiders, cobweb web spiders or comb footed spiders and linifidae, also called the sheet weavers or money spiders. The architecture the Theridididae form one of the largest families of spiders with more than 2200 species spread over 100 genera. This family shows great diversity when it comes to web architectures. They primarily make three-dimensional gum-footed tangled webs made of anchoring frame lines that connect the web with its surroundings and peripheral lines made up of viscid silk. Webs with peripheral and central retreats are found with substantial variation in structure according to the spider species. A sister family, Nisticidae, is also known to create gum-footed tangled web structures with no clear orb-like pattern. Linifidae family, the Linifidae are tiny spiders that prefer to build sheets of web structures with high fiber density that serve as nests and effective trapping mechanisms for catching prey. Members of the long-legged Folsidae family are also known to create irregular cobwebs. webs. The tangled webs are more effective in catching prey compared to other ordered web types in certain scenarios. Perhaps that's the reason they've been preferred over the course of evolution. Did you know? The most common member of the cobweb weaving Theridididae family in USA is the common house spider Parastetoda tepidarium. So these are the families that you can primarily blame for the cobwebs seen growing in corners of your house. There may or may not be a spider in the sticky to claim the ownership of these webs. The spiders keep migrating according to the availability of prey. The abandoned webs eventually gather dust making them more visible. Many a times the cobweb strands are not even a part of the web but just traveling spider silk ropes that a spider launches to move around. All about spider webs, what's a spider web? The elegant and sophisticated webs designed by spiders are generically known as spider webs. These are created by the orb web producing Aranidae, Nephilidae and Tetragnathidae families, among others, spider webs. Just like cobwebs webs are created from a proteinaceous fluid emitted by specialized glands called spinrets located at the abdominal tips of spiders. The material that they are made up of is known as spider silk. Specialized glands. There are seven types of specialized glands that create seven different types of spider silk. Each one of the silk types is devoted to a specific part of a web or is used for a special purpose other than web building. The two most important types of silk are viscid silk, wet, elastic and sticky designed to form the outer spirals of a web and to catch prey. 
and drag line silk tough and dry it forms the radiating arms of the web that provide structural stability types of webs depending on the species the spiders are variously known to have one three or four types of glands the spider's web can be broadly classified into four types other than the common cob webs and sheet webs they are orb webs mostly created by the aranidae tetragonathidae and uloboridae families of spiders funnel webs spun by spiders belonging to the hexathelidae family tubular webs built by spiders like the sigistria florentina tent webs built by spiders belonging to the genus certophora different purpose of spider silk there are different types of spider silk which serve different purposes like building the main framework drag lines of a web to catch prey building the spokes of the web wrapping and packing fresh caught prey for later consumption protecting an offspring ballooning out with a drift serving as a source of food acting as guideline serving as pheromonal trails acting as an alarm line nest building to conclude the difference between orb like spider webs and cob webs is primarily architectural owing to the different spider species that they originate from